You started uh, a bit of a uh, different path than some people on the podcast do because you started in Italy's second division before coming back stateside and trying your hand with the G League and then going back overseas after that. Uh, So I wanted to ask you first, how was your time in Italy? Secondly, um, because you went over to Italy's second division before coming back to the G League, I wanted to ask if the G League was something you pursued before going over to Italy or if that was something that wasn't really on the table, so you decided to wait until afterward. It's actually uh, quite an interesting story, um, just how I ended up in the G League. Um, so just going to Italy, um, out of college, um, I didn't have much NBA um, traction. You know, I did a few workouts, you know, and during the pre-draft, you know, things. But I decided that, you know, my it wasn't better for me in my career was to, you know, go overseas first and then play well and then hopefully have the opportunity to come back and play NBA G League or whatever. So that's what I did. I went to Italy, played well, and then um, – after that season, I, pl- um, I was offered, you know, some pretty decent sized contracts just in the higher leagues like Poland, uh, some more Italy, some more Italy offers and you know, other countries like that in Greece, whatnot. Um, so coming back that summer after my, after my first year in Italy, I was actually in a car accident, like probably like a week or so before I was about to sign my next contract. And it was just like really tragic. There was four casualties um involved so when that happened um just because of just because who i was and my name and how much you know attention that'll get the way the headlines were set up it made it seem as if you know it was like all of my fault but it was really just a big accident but they just kind of used my name to you know advance the story so when teams overseas heard about that and when they saw the headlines you know the translation all the language barriers and things like that it just didn't look good you know, from a, from a, you know, organization standpoint, bringing in a guy, you know, with all that surrounding my name. So teams kind of backed off on those offers. And when they did that, it was kind of like, I had a few more offers in like lower leagues, but it was not the level that I wanted to play in. And then I think like a couple weeks after that, um, I got an invite to the NBA G League combine, which kind of came at the right time. And um, I went there, played well. I think I averaged like 15 or so points over six games. And I got some got some interest in teams uh, just from playing in that. So then I decided that it's probably best if I just did the NBA G League draft, you know, and to see what happens from there. And that's what I decided to do. But during that time, I, I found out that I had a, you know, a rare eye condition called keratoconus, which um, – what it does is over time, it's like makes my eyeball flatten to a point where it's almost blurry and like almost to the point where I was pretty much legally blind. So I was dealing with that on top of, you know, the car accident and then all the anxiety and, you know, the depression for all that stuff that happened for, with that. And then I went to the G League and I was just like really shooken up this whole time. So my time there was like really, really bad. Um, like I was not shooting the ball where I wasn't myself. And it was just like, it was just like a, like a tough point in my career. And um, so things there didn't actually go as, you know, didn't go as planned just because of what I was dealing with. And then, um, so once I left there, I sat out for like two months, you know, just kind of like regroup. I didn't know if I wanted to go back and play. I was just like, wasn't myself, but um, I got an offer to go play in Chile. I was sitting at home on the couch and I was like, I got to get up and do something like this is, you know, I, I want to play basketball, but, you know, I was also dealing with all that. But I think it was best – it was good for me to actually get out and go back and play again. So I went to Chile, and then I played really well there, dealing with the eye condition, and then I went to Hungary and only played a couple games, and that's when that's when COVID hit. So then it kind of sidelined me again for another season. 